All right, what's going on, guys? It's Bobby Skinner doing another uh, 2021 NFL Draft film breakdown. Before we get started, if you like the videos, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out the Draft Breakdown playlist. This video, man, is a guy I am in love with. I'm in love with this guy. Center for the Alabama Crimson Tide, Landon Dickerson. And I know Alex Leatherwood gets talked about as a as a as a prospect, a tackle, and with with a uh, rightfully so. Deontay Brown, he gets talked about, and rightfully so. But I think this center, Landon Dickerson, is the best player on the new on the Alabama offensive line. He's six foot six, three hundred twenty five pounds. Um, you know, started at center this season. Uh, the season before his career, his career is kind of confusing. He started at Florida State, was a starter at guard, the first f- true freshman to start on the on, on FSU since like the nineties or something. Um, and then he gets hurt with a knee injury, and then sophomore year. Gets hurt again. So then the junior, he takes a medical redshirt, junior year, transfers to Alabama, starts at guard, and then moves to center after four games, which he had never played, and then starts at center the whole year. And then everyone knows in the SEC championship where he got hurt um, towards the end of the game and had knee injury. So he has injury issues. To me, that's the only thing that worries me about him. If it wasn't for injuries, I mean, I would be banging on the table for teams to go get this guy because I, I think he's, I think. If he can stay healthy, he's going to be an awesome player. I mean, just look at that size at that center spot. And you can play guard. Um, he played a little bit of tackle in college, but he's not going to play a tackle in the NFL. But you can play him at center and guard. Six foot six, 225 pounds. Um, he's strong. He's strong in the run game. We're going to go through all these plays. Um, he's got good feet. His IQ is crazy. The way he gets the linebackers is nice and patient and smart. Um, he's got strong hands. Um, he's good in pass pro. I mean, I I just I like a lot about this guy. I mean, if a team if he can stay healthy, should be able to celebrate this draft pick. So I got a uh, I got twelve plays we're gonna go through or thirteen plays we're gonna go through. Let's roll through them. And this is this is only versus Georgia, and this is um, just in order of the game. Thirteen plays I picked out. So we got him here. He's the center working the linebacker. You'll see when he moves the linebackers. One, he's patient. He is patient. A lot of guys get out of the gates because they're worried. They get out of the gates and sprint because they're worried they're going to miss the guy, um, or you know he's going to get beat over the top. Not him. He's patient. Wide base, short choppy feet. He even gets like tripped up a little bit. Or sorry, short choppy feet, and then bam! Not only just gets to his guy, but watch those hands. I mean that's perfect hand placement inside of his hands on the numbers. And then finishes with drive. I mean, and then so you you got your you made a hole, Landon Dickerson. That Najee Harris is running off of you, running off of you because you mo- not only got to that linebacker but moved him off his spot, moved off his spot. Got some pass reps. Here's just some good stunt pickup. He doesn't overcommit to players. And like this, this isn't anything crazy, but it just shows. So he's got this defensive tackle in front of him. Doesn't overcommit, and then watch his helmet. Trust to pass that off to Deontay Brown. Trust to pass that off. Picks up 17, the linebacker. Then the guards got his guy. Here we got him in some outside zone, which is this is impressive, and this isn't the most impressive of these reps, which we'll see. But all you're trying to do is wall this guy off on these plays. Wall these guys off. And he's got the head up. Engages. Good hands. And then the feet come around. Feet come around. You're just trying to hinge off. Trying to just wall that guy off. Trying to get on the outside. Wall that guy off. Here. Here's impressive. So we're running outside zone the other way. This is where his IQ comes into play. This is where his IQ comes into play. So you're trying to get outside. You got this linebacker. So you're working, you know, these two are working from here to here. I mean, and, and you got to get out there and move, you know. It's not like you're just, blo- you know, a straight up block. You got to get out there and move on these guys. Sees that blitzing linebacker. Sees his guard has the defensive tackle. Stops, hinges, picks it up. And that's the difference. That could be a that's a tackle. That's that could be a tackle for a loss if he doesn't pick that up. That could be a tackle for a loss if he doesn't pick that up. 
Now this guy. Missing this linebacker hurts. <laughs> because that screws up that hole. Like, if he picks that up, you got yourself a hole. This guy's blocked. But as far as Dickerson, I mean, he does his job really well on this play. It's just a, a good pass rep. Picking up a stunt. Again, does, doesn't overcommit. Doesn't turn his shoulders. Doesn't turn his shoulders where he can be taken advantage of. Passes it off. Picks up his guy. Win. Here, just got a head up. Head up nose tackle, which you don't see a ton of in the NFL anymore. I mean, you have teams that do it, but you know, you're not facing a head up. But just putting putting quit in this guy. Look at helmet. His head's his head is lower. His hands are inside. Nice base. Not leaning. Winning the rep. Winning the rep. And he consistently wins those reps. Consistently wins those reps. This is beautiful. Com now, here's what I will say. On the combo blocks, and, and this could be some Alabama teaching. In the NFL, or some teams, you got to have your hip to hip. So that that'll be my that's you know that's a point of critique right there. You got to have your hip and his hip and and his hip locked up on these double teams. One, that's how you get better movement. But that's also how you do a job coming off these blocks. Because here's the issue. It's Dickerson, rightfully so comes off this block and picks up this linebacker. And he does a good job of picking up the linebacker. The issue, because they're not hip to hip, that when he releases, well, now the defensive tackle is unblocked. And Brown leaves early. So you got to get hip to hip on those combos in the NFL. Hip to hip. And he will. Like, he, he will do that. But the thing I'd like is his patience and ability to get to the linebackers and not just get there, but land, you know, land land on them with heavy hands and move them off their spots. Just a basic pass rep. Again, not opening, not turning his shoulders, not leaning. Good leverage. Good punch. Brown gets it, gives him the help. <laughs> I just had to mute my microphone for a sneeze. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't admit that, but I do it. Uh, so here is a bad rep. He gets juked by this linebacker. Right into Mac Jones's lap. So the issue is he punches on most plays. This one doesn't punch. You see his hands? He's just placing it. He's placing that left hand. So he doesn't punch. So this linebacker is able to, like, you know, do his his, his juke move without uh, getting those hands, you know, getting punched. And then on top of that, his feet aren't ready. His feet aren't ready for the juke. So instead of having his feet ready, be like, hey, he's going to go one way or the other to be able to mirror. Like, all right, if he mirrors this way, right foot coming down, you know, half a yard. Le you know, left left foot coming down half a yard, the right foot drops. Drops back, and that just that just put, lets the linebacker come into the QB's lap. Just have those feet ready to mirror. Like I said, this is this is a one-off rep for him, though. This is the only – this is – that was only a rep of the game where I was like, man, that's that's a bad job by Landon Dickerson. Here, they, they need to work on their combos better, but you see the good the traits of a good and smart player. So again, you gotta you gotta get out there. You gotta get out there fast. These guys are comboing on this outside zone to this linebacker. So you gotta get out there. But like Deion Brown or Deontay Brown has gotten outside of him. Like at this point, he's he's Deontay Brown has won this rep, and Harris kind of screws this up because he needs to hit this hole. But this linebacker, the linebacker, doesn't flow over the top on an outside zone 
which would make Dickerson think that he's cutting back, which he kind of is, to come off to this linebacker. So Dickerson plays it right. And then uh, Harris cuts it back out. So that's kind of like your running back making you look like you screwed up a little bit, but he was fine on that one. Again, hinging on these outside zones. Like, I get that he's, you know, he's outside on his outside shoulder and his gap, but that's not an easy block to make. Like, as soon as he see they see your feet move like this all in a corner, they know it's outside zone. And he's able, with his speed, with his athleticism, to get to that opposite side shoulder, get your hat on, on this side of his hat. That's the goal for these. Get your hat, once you have that, to be able to swing your hips around like that, with ease, I and mean, that's not a, that's like a, NFL guys have a, like serious issues doing that. And then at least, I mean, at least to a big play. I know the center isn't the most, you know, crucial part of these outside zone plays, but it leads to a big play. Just great work to the linebacker. Again, patient. Checks to make sure this defensive tackle doesn't hit his gap. He's not. He's hitting the B gap. Slow, choppy feet. Or, you know, quick, choppy feet. Lands the punch. Again. Where are the hands going? Bam. Inside. Inside his arms on the numbers. A pad level is lower than this linebacker who's probably five inches shorter than him. And moving him off his mark. I mean, that's great work to the linebacker. That's that, that's what like makes me like him the most, is his work to the linebacker. Which a lot of college dudes have so many issues doing that. Like, it looks silly how bad they screw it up sometimes. Here. Patience. So originally when they look at this, Dickerson's probably thinking, okay, I got this guy in my gap. They're working. It's these two working to this linebacker. So a lot of guys see this and he's going to, he moves outside, doesn't have it. Like he checks and then they're off the races. They hit 41. Like that's the play side linebacker. That's my responsibility off to the races. He puts that hand out, checks with his guy and then is patient. And because these linebackers, they're trying to confuse them. Like they're trying to get him to, sh you know, to get out of it, you know, get out of the, you know, the, um, get out and go and have an open gap for this linebacker to blitz into and have a nice run stop. But because they're patient, 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 not out there racing to get out there, right? Patient. They're able to pick up this linebacker. This linebacker comes right into this gap. He removes himself from this gap. Big run. Big run. Because the defense plays into it, and he's patient. That's like when defenses try these different things, the Gazog looks, sometimes if you're just patient and not going crazy, you win. And what I like too, is he finishes. Bam! I love that. I feel so good. It's like, okay, I did my responsibility. Let me get downfield. Let me hit somebody. Play's not over. And look down on him. So I love this guy in Landon Dickinson, uh, Landon Dickerson. Um, you know, I'm, this is obviously mostly a Giants channel. If he wasn't didn't have the injury issues, I really think he would be a huge target for the Giants. And he still could be, um, depending on where he ends up. But Landon Dickerson, man, if, if this guy is healthy, he's a real deal football player who's going to start on the offensive line for a long time. So if you like these videos, there's more. There's a playlist of them. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time.